Hi guys, I want to share something that I should have quite a while ago. I've written down some poems that are true and are full of emotions. It's very personal to me, so I hope you like it. I'll do this. In, I'm doing this in this video. I did the other video to notify you. The poems are connected with real life. What about crimes such as killing should stop? Technically, I want to be a person who stands up for victims of murder. I want to prevent it. I want people to question themselves, is killing even correct? I want them to think, is killing the worst they could do? Think, how precious is life? All the questions will remain unanswered until someone will step up, and that is me. So right now, instead of doing a poem, I will say some words, wise words, and a few questions to ask yourself and a quiz. Just so you get the idea not to kill. So ask yourself, how precious is your own life? Is it more precious than someone else's? Ask yourself, does anyone really deserve to die? Does anyone really deserve bad punishment? And think, why would you kill when there are other options? Instead of killing, forget it. It's in the past, and in the past it shall remain. Instead of unleashing your anger into someone else, Unleash anger, bit by bit, into yourself for doing something wrong. War is bad. Peace is good. Now, here's the quiz. If you are mad at someone, what do you do? Do you A, kill them, B, forget it, or C, try and work things out? Probably, I wouldn't just kill them if I was mad at them. I could try and work things out or forget it. I might do both, I'm not really sure which one I would choose, I guess. Just try and work things out instead of just forget it because they'd be like, excuse me, I want an apology. So just try and, think, try and work things out, I guess. If someone is going to kill you, what do you do? A, kill them first. B, use an, an act of self defense but not killing the attacker and hide. Well, I would use B, use an act of self-defense while we're not going to kill them. Like, after I, like, I take them down a bit, then maybe I can, like, call the police, like, Oh, police, save me. I'm just a princess in this castle and this man tried to kill me. I mean, okay, I'm not really a princess, but okay. Three, if someone says, if someone says or dares you to kill, what do you do? A, accept. B, deny in a polite manner. C, Deny, but be angry that they suggested a kill. See, definitely for me. Question four. If you decided to kill someone, who would you kill? A, kill the person attacking you. B, kill the person you broke up with. Kill someone who doesn't obey you. Well, I'm going to kill the person I broke up with because that's, that's the future stuff and relationships are deep. I don't think really we go too deep because that's way too deep if you're going to go like that. If someone doesn't obey me, I'm not be like, okay, I'm gonna kill you now because, like, what if someone, so what if someone says, um, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to swim in the pond, I don't want to swim in the swimming pool just yet. <laughs> I may as well watch for now because um, I don't really know how to swim. I watch you guys, so maybe I can learn. So I think I'll kill the person attacking me. I guess it sounds so sad though. Question five. Do you think killing is good? No, not at all. Yes, it's cool. C, sometimes, and D, half and half. Okay, this is kind of a tough one though. Half and half, I mean, would be a logical answer because sometimes it is good. Oh wait, is it? Oh no, is it? Is it good? But we're talking about people. This did not have anything relating to animals. So I don't think, this has nothing relating to animals, so, no, it has nothing related to that. Killing's not good at all, no, it's not good at all, no, no, not at all, no, no, that can't be good, can't be telling me that. Anyway guys, see you into another video, but until then, bye bye.